Are you considering getting a Boston Terrier as your next dog companion? They are true American gentlemen. Learn about the temperament, background, and other characteristics of this amazing small dog breed to determine if it might be the ideal fit for your family. One of the most well-known Native American dog breeds is the Boston Terrier. He is known for being entertaining and having excellent manners. He is lively, extremely intelligent, and small. He is known as the American Gentleman for his excellent manners and suit-like coat. Thanks to his terrier genes, Boston Terriers are well-balanced dogs who are always ready to cuddle, relax, and mix in a fun side. If you're looking for a smaller dog breed, it can be difficult to find a better family pet. However, they can occasionally be independent, which makes them a little trickier to train than other breeds. For families and their homes of all sizes and shapes, his diminutive stature and vivacious personality make him an excellent choice. So, if the Boston knocked you over and you want to learn more about this handsome man, you've come to the right place. Boston Terrier 101, are you prepared? Move along. History. Unbelievably, the breed was initially developed by breeding fighting dogs. The first crossbreed was developed in Liverpool, England, for pit fighting and ratting competitions. A bulldog and the now extinct English Terrier were the parents of Judge, a strong pup who was sold to an American who brought him back to Boston and later sold him to Robert Hooper. Because of this, you may occasionally hear references to the Boston breed as Hooper's Judge. Mr. Hooper crossed the powerful Judge with a diminutive white female resembling a Boston Terrier. Over a period of 20 years, Boston's got cuter, less aggressive, and smaller. In 1891, the Boston Terrier Club of America was founded, and the rest, as they say, is history. He is one of 10 dog species that bear the label made in America, and the breed was created in Boston. The ranking of Boston Terriers as a breed varies between 20 and 30 in America. He is one of the most well-liked dogs in his hometown of Boston, as you might anticipate. Sergeant Stubby, the most decorated war canine, is one of many well-known Bostons. And famous people like Joan Rivers, Robin Williams, and Helen Keller were seduced by the Boston Terrier. Temperament. With children and families, this breed is fantastic. Look no further if you're looking for a family dog that can play with the kids, cuddle with them, and is a great companion for little ones. All of these qualities describe this breed. He fits in well in most family homes and is very adaptable. He makes a wonderful addition to families with children because of his well-balanced nature. His terrier genes make him a sturdy playmate despite being a small dog. He'll do his part to keep the kids amused while you get some well-deserved rest. He adores being a member of the family gang and does not consider himself the family pet, but rather an equal member of it. Although not in a domineering manner, he enjoys being the center of attention. This breed adores cuddling and requires constant closeness from their owners. He enjoys receiving attention and is also friendly with strangers. He is an excellent watchdog despite being a terrible guard dog due to his friendliness. Much better than any alarm bell you've ever had, you can rely on him to let everyone know when they are arriving. Despite being descended from terrier and pit fighting ancestors, Boston Terriers exhibit a significantly lower prey drive than other terrier breeds. He is therefore perfect for households with cats and rodents and multiple pets. He will get along with other dogs as long as he is socialized appropriately. He is a generally upbeat dog. His only complaint is that he is frequently left alone. So, he needs a family that can spend the majority of the day at home. He can experience anxiety and doesn't like to be left alone all day. His destructive bulldog traits will fully manifest themselves and he'll start chewing everything in sight. Dimension and appearance. Both the size and appearance of this breed can vary. Boston Terriers are small-sized puppies that belong to the non-sporting category of dogs. He is not a heavyweight fighter like his ancestors, tipping the scales at just 25 pounds for a large male. Some would classify small females as toy dogs because they can weigh as little as 12 pounds. These dogs are light and lean, especially when you consider their height range of 15 to 17 inches. 
The breed standard does specify, however, that they must never appear gangly or scrawny. They were bred to have a solid, purposeful appearance. The tuxedo marking on his chest and his naturally dark tail are two of the Boston Terrier's most distinguishing characteristics. Both are crucial in order to distinguish him from other breeds with similar appearances, like the French Bulldog, which he frequently gets confused with. His tail is low on his back and naturally short. His head is carried proudly and he has a thick neck. He is a proportionately sized pup all around. This puppy has a condition called brachycephalic syndrome, which is common in dogs. Or, as it is more commonly known, having a flat face. He has a wrinkled face and a very short muzzle. The Boston also has very large eyes that give him a bug-like appearance. He has a charming smile that spreads widely and emphasizes his sly demeanor. Colors and coat. The color of this puppy's coat can vary widely. The only available coat colors for Boston Terriers are black, brindle, and seal. Each one has the distinctive white tuxedo markings. The preferred color, according to the Boston breed standard, is brindle. The color seal appears to be solid black, but under certain lighting, it takes on a warm red hue. Breeders are likely selling you a Boston mix of some sort if they are trying to sell you another colored Boston. Additionally, you can be certain that they are an unreliable breeder. At a minimum, the tuxedo markings shall consist of a white muzzle band, a white forechest, and a white blaze between the eyes. He is unable to compete in the conformation show ring without these. White on the legs and the collar are additional desired markings. His hind legs should be white below the hocks, and his front legs may be partially or completely white. He is known as the American Gentleman because of his tuxedo. He has a short, smooth, and finely textured double-layered coat. Throughout the year, he sheds moderately, with the shedding seasons seeing only a slight increase. Many find his fine hair and little shedding to be very attractive. This is not to say that his grooming routine is straightforward, but we'll talk about that later. His brown eyes will remain that way. Exercise Specifications this breed requires between 30 and 45 minutes of outdoor exercise each day. He is not your typical small dog because Boston Terriers are animated and active for their size. Even though he enjoys cuddling, don't anticipate him to spend the entire day in bed. He needs to exercise for 30 to 45 minutes. While some of this can be considered indoor playtime, the majority of it requires walking and sniffing outside. You must keep an eye on him while he works out in the summer. He has to work harder to breathe and oxygenate his body because of his flat face. Boston Terriers will require a break from more strenuous exercise. It is advised not to work him out during the day in the summer. Instead, the best times to exercise him are on brisk morning walks and cool evenings. His terrier genes, which are intelligent and inquisitive, require stimulation all day long. Playing with him is an excellent way to keep him entertained because he enjoys being the center of attention. Consider using ropes, tug-of-war gear, and fetching balls, he will undoubtedly enjoy it. Invest in chew sticks and treat dispensing puzzle toys for solo playtime for those times when you are unable to play for an extended period of time. Living Circumstances This breed adapts well to a wide range of different environments. He fits in with any type of home thanks to his diminutive size. He can reside anywhere, whether it be a modest apartment or a sizable country house. He is so well liked for a variety of reasons, including his versatility. While he would adore having a yard, he doesn't need one. Please make sure it is safe if he is fortunate enough to have access to outdoor space. If not restrained, this curious man is likely to set off on his own. The majority of Boston Terriers are quite relaxed, so they won't interfere with your style if you live in a small space. They tend to be quite slothful around the house and enjoy taking long naps on the couch. As previously stated, make sure your Boston is properly worked out. If your puppy receives the proper exercise, you will probably have found a very laid-back canine friend. Training This breed is generally obedient and simple to train. The Boston Terrier is a smart dog who generally wants to please people. 
He does, however, have a tendency to be stubborn, which he most likely inherited from his bulldog ancestors. He is suitable for new dog owners, but don't anticipate complete obedience from him. But because of his playful nature, he will always be up for the challenge of learning something new if you make training enjoyable. The positive reinforcement training method is the most effective way to train them. In essence, this means making his training enjoyable for him and rewarding him for good behavior. Boston Terriers love toys and tasty treats very much. Early leash training will help your Boston adjust to their special frame. You should also use a harness designed for smaller dogs. Early socialization is crucial for Boston Terriers, just like it is for all dogs. Only if you teach him how, is your dog going to be balanced. His parents and littermates will be his first social contacts. You must continue the process by regularly introducing him to other dogs and exposing him to the settings and sounds that he will encounter while living with you. Such as using the hoover, walking on a noisy sidewalk, and having guests over. We suggest crate training the Boston because he detests being left alone for extended periods of time. Although crates are disliked by many dog owners, veterinarians, and canine experts all over the world recommend them. It not only provides him with a private area where he can spend time alone, away from kids and other animals, but it also helps him feel less anxious when he is left alone. Additionally, it means that you can rest easy knowing that your favorite rug or best pair of shoes won't be destroyed by his ex-bulldog jaws. Health there may be some predisposed health issues in this breed. You can anticipate a reasonably healthy dog to live an average of 11 to 13 years. Maintaining his fitness and providing him with the highest quality nutrition you can afford is the best way to lengthen his years. Additionally, you ought to work with breeders who vet their dogs and keep up with his medical checkups. Certain health issues are more common in the Boston breed than others. The following health issues are those that are most likely to affect the breed. Eye conditions. Bostons can develop a number of eye conditions. Both young and old cataracts are most common. Additionally concerning are cherry eyes and corneal ulcers. Additionally, he is more prone to general eye injuries due to his prominent bulging eyes. Deafness. The gene pool of Bostons contains a high proportion of deaf people. Before placing their puppies in homes, all reputable breeders bear test them for deafness. More Bostons with heads over one-third white are more likely to have puppies that are deaf. Allergies. The Boston, like many other terriers, is more likely to experience allergic reactions. Food allergies or contact allergies to things like grass or pollen can cause this. Even though they interfere with his day-to-day -day activities, they are treatable with better diet and medications. Bostons are flat-faced dogs, and this compressed anatomy can lead to a number of health issues. Their throats and airways are crooked and elongated due to their flat noses and short muzzles. They snuffle continuously because of this. You should exercise with extra caution because of this. They also have a harder time controlling their body temperature, which increases their risk of heat exhaustion. Nutrition this breed needs proper nutrition, so carefully consider your food selection. Despite what he may try to convince you, the Boston Terrier is a small dog who only requires a small amount of food. Every day, he will require about one cup of food. Of course, a Boston that weighs 12 pounds will require less food than one that weighs 25 pounds. Because of this, it's crucial to read the instructions on the package. He is a small pup, and his mouth is also small. You must give him kibble made for small-sized dogs to ensure that he can eat comfortably. Nutritional needs are catered for in kibble with specific sizes. It's important to understand the different life stages of the Boston breed and which nutrients and dog foods are best for each stage because his nutritional requirements will change as he ages as well. Given that it lays the groundwork for a healthy lifestyle, puppyhood is arguably the most crucial stage. A diet that is well-balanced is the secret to nutrition. All of this is provided by high-quality meats, carbohydrates, fiber, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals, as well as high-quality kibbles. The flatulence at the Boston is legendary. So, if you discover that he is a top trumper, his best bet is to eat foods with more fiber, 
probiotics, and yucca extract. You need to watch how many treats you give him because these dogs have a tendency to be gluttons. Reduce the amount of treats he receives and switch him to kibble with fewer calories if you notice that he is gaining more weight than is healthy. Keeping away from fatty human foods will also help to lessen his flatulence. Carrots and bell pepper are two excellent healthy treats. Grooming. For the well-being of skin and coat, regular grooming is crucial. The Boston Terrier is a gentleman who takes pride in appearance, and he is a relatively clean breed. He should only be bathed once every 8 to 12 weeks, any more than that puts his natural coat oils at risk. Due to his sensitivities, you should always choose a gentle shampoo for your Boston. The Boston prefers shampoos made with organic ingredients like oatmeal. Because of how short and fine his double coat is, he only needs to be brushed once a week to stay on top of his shedding. He thankfully sheds very little all year long. The best brush for the Boston is one with soft bristles that will delicately remove dirt and dead hair. But before you get too excited, remember that he makes up for his untidy hair with wrinkles that require extra care and attention. Sorry. His flat muzzle has a tendency to have wrinkled skin around it. He needs to take care of his wrinkles every day because they are a haven for bacterial infections. Cleanse and dampen a cloth, and then wipe in between the skin folds. Be sure to wipe again to remove any remaining moisture. You probably won't need to do this every day if you don't have wrinkles. However, it's crucial to prevent skin fold dermatitis for those who are. He should naturally lose nail polish as he moves quickly and exercises. However, you'll need to trim them if you hear them tapping on the floor as he moves around. In order to prevent periodontal diseases, his small mouth and compact teeth will need to be brushed several times per week with a special canine toothpaste. Check his eyes frequently for redness, excessive discharge, or other changes in appearance. Fortunately, your Boston will happily accept the grooming care. Costs of breeders and puppies For a puppy from a reputable breeder, budget up to $1,000. A well-known dog breed is the Boston Terrier. Both good and bad news can be found in this. The good news is that it will lead to a large number of excellent breeders being present. The bad news is that some dishonest breeders have also joined the trend in an effort to profit. Your detective skills will be useful in this situation. In order to select the best breeder, you must separate the good from the bad. Speak to other Boston enthusiasts who share your interests. They may be able to suggest a reputable breeder to you. However, always do your own research. Alternately, look online for people with extensive experience and credible websites. Before any money is exchanged, only work with those who invite you to meet them and the puppies. A reputable breeder will charge up to $1,000 for a Boston puppy. This is a great place to start because the AKC lists registered breeders of Boston Terriers. Poor quality breeders will probably advertise their puppies online and forbid you from visiting them in their homes. Instead, they will approach you in public spaces like parking lots and put pressure on you to give them the cash. Additionally, they show little concern for the welfare of the puppy and frequently breed sick dogs, producing sick dogs. Please steer clear of puppy mills and subpar breeders. You must factor in all associated costs when creating a budget for your Boston. From furnishing your home and buying furnishings like beds, bowls, and crates to his first vaccinations. You must also factor in his ongoing expenses, such as his food and insurance. The Boston is suitable for 11 to 13 of them and puppies aren't just for Christmas. Find the ideal name for your new Boston Terrier using our guide. Shelters and Rescues Before visiting a breeder, think about adopting a rescue animal. If you want a Boston but aren't ready for the added responsibilities that come with puppies, rescuing is another option. Initially, rescuing is less expensive than purchasing a puppy. Visit the staff at the rescue shelters in your area. They can walk you through the adoption procedure. Do not worry if you are having trouble locating a Boston at your neighborhood shelters. There are numerous rescue groups that concentrate their efforts on the Boston breed. The Boston Terrier Society provides a comprehensive list of all Boston Terrier rescue organizations in every state as well as a wealth of other helpful details. 
you can start your Boston Rescue Mission right here. There are many Boston Terrier crossbreeds to choose from if you're willing to adopt a mixed breed. As household pets. Boston Terriers are adaptable and upbeat. This breed can coexist with most families because it is adaptable. He enjoys playing just as much as lounging on the couch with his family. For him to remain healthy and content, he needs to exercise for 30 to 45 minutes each day. They detest spending extended periods of time alone. He makes a terrible guard dog because he is friendly with both visitors and total strangers. He has a tendency to bark a lot. If the Boston is socialized well as a puppy, he can live with all other household pets. He is smart and trainable, making him ideal for novice dog owners. Bostons are suitable for any kind of living arrangement, including apartments. He is simple to take care of, just pay extra attention to his wrinkles and concerns about his flat face. Final Reflections The Boston is the town's best dressed canine. He will make everyone smile with his good looks, intelligence, and cheeky grin. Even cat lovers. He fits in with all families and homes, from the little ones to grandma. You are guaranteed to get along like a house on fire as long as you can match his needs as described in this guide.